<laughs> okay, so I'm drinking milk and gone off orange juice, okay? Hannah, get me a bucket. Hi guys, Zyga here, welcome back to another video. Today guys is a 10k special that is late as per usual. So yeah, we're re-recording this because yeah, something's happened. Anyways, thank you so much guys for 10k subscribers. We're over 10k now, but thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate every single one of you and the support has just been amazing. Anyone who just watches my videos, likes, subscribes, or not, thank you and welcome to the community. So today I'm doing my 10k special Q&A because that's what you guys voted for on my recent poll. And if you didn't see that poll, make sure you turn post notifications on so you know you stay up to date and whatnot. And also, all these questions are from Discord, so if you're not in the Discord, there'll be links in the description below. So let's begin. Also, just a quick like disclaimer, my sister's behind the camera, she's gonna be reading the questions. So yeah. How is your name pronounced? Um, it's just Zyga. I don't know if you couldn't tell. Zyga and then my actual name Gabby. How did you begin game development? Um, I began at school, in all honesty, I did programming first because we did it in class and then we had to like create a game and stuff so I had to do it at school, that's how I began. What was your first video? Um, the first video on this channel actually was the Awoken devlog number one on the screen right now um, but there was a video prior to this and it's privated now, it was called like Welcome to my channel. What are your plans for when you hit 1 million subs next week? Um, I don't know because it won't happen, so no plans. What was the first game you created? Um, I actually created this Knots and Crosses game in Visual Basic, yeah. Visual Studio using Visual Basic and it wasn't really a game, it was more like, um, didn't have any like visual good stuff in it. So Knots and Crosses, or X's and O's. When did you start creating games? Uh, when I was like 12 or 13 I think, when I did that Knots and Crosses thing. What was your main drive to make content? Um, actually, m currently you guys, the support I've been getting is amazing and phenomenal and I enjoy that and also like, I just personally love making content and being in front of the camera so that as well. What is the game you are most proud of? Currently I am most proud of Project Jude and where it's heading, however if we're talking about like a complete game, the Ludum Dare Skip a Beat game was pretty epic, if you haven't watched the video you should you know, check it out. What is your motivation that got you through game making? Um, my motivation comes from different places, there's, you know, there's YouTubers that motivate me, there's also games online that I look at and I'm like, that's a cool game, I can make that. <laughs> so what, yeah. What do you think of the community? Um, I actually think the community is a really nice community compared to everyone else. They're really supportive of everyone, so feel free, you know, to like help each other out, you know. You need something, the community will help you out, so the support is amazing, so I think the community is great. Do you have any plans for the future of your community? Um, I've got a couple plans for the Discord server and stuff, but I, in all honesty, I don't know where we're heading, so we're gonna have to see for that. Do you approve of all your simps on your Discord server? Of course I do, I love you guys. Do you prefer to make 2D or 3D games? Um, I don't really have a preference, I've majorly made 2D games because I'm terrible at modelling and when you do 3D games you are kind of forced to make at least some basic models, so probably, I don't know, I can't really choose. Could you give advice to people who are starting in game development? Um, make sure that what you're doing is fun and you're passionate about it because if it's not fun what you're making you're gonna stop and drop that project and also make sure you start small. Don't go trying to make a triple A game or something massive like for example if I'm new to Unity I'm not gonna try and go ahead and make a multiplayer game. Just make something simple, get it done and see if you enjoy the process or not. What or who was your motivation to start game dev and YouTube? There's been a lot of people. I started game dev um, a while back as I said. It, the main motivation for that was the fact that I just saw loads of cool games online and I loved playing video games, but I love programming. So I was like playing these games and I thought to myself, it would be so epic if I can make that. So I was like, yeah, let's go do some game dev. But for YouTube, there's been loads of like, you know, obviously Danny, Randall, Sam Hogan, Black Thorn Prod, Pioku, all of those people, so pretty awesome. What's your favorite part about making a game? Ooh, that's hard because I like all of it. The thing I suck at is music and modeling, but I love the actual physical part of programming and scripting and getting it to look good and stuff. So art stuff, I guess, as well. Do you, did you expect this massive growth? No, I obviously never expected it because I started this channel just to show off things to my friends and myself and stuff and, you know, to keep, to like, keep myself motivated and like making the game or not. But I did not expect this massive growth and I appreciate it so much, so thank you. What is your dream game? Ooh, if we're talking about like game to make myself, I always wanted to make a card game. But if we're talking like games that have already been made, I uh, 
absolutely adore things like Enter the Gungeon. I think it's a really awesome game. Obviously, Hollow Knight is really pretty and Celeste. I also like Valorant because of like the models and stuff. I think it's really cool. So yeah, that. Does it affect you that game development field is primarily male dominated? No, it doesn't affect me at all because I've loved programming and IT all my life and majority uh, in school when I was doing these subjects, the majority of the time there was hardly any girls. You know, I had a couple girls, there was a couple girls in computer science when I was doing that, but my recently in A levels, there was like no girls. But I don't really care because I get along with guys pretty well, so. Have you started some projects but never shown them? Yeah, I do have a couple projects here and there that I start. It, I wouldn't call it projects, it was just sort of like games that I made here and there for practice and stuff that I didn't really show off. It's like a mobile little game that I made and didn't really show off. I mean, I did a little live stream, but it was so long ago and not many people saw it, so yeah. How, mu been. how much will Jude cost? Um, I don't actually know how much it will cost, probably roughly under $10, maybe $10, something like that. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out, but um, yeah, obviously I probably will put it up for a price because, you know, a lot of my time goes into it and a lot of effort and stuff like that, but I will try and keep it, like, at a minimum, if you know what I mean. What's the story behind your name? <laughs> I mean, there isn't really a story, I just used to play League of Legends when I was younger and I needed a name, so... I basically tried to think of a name. I also went on YouTube and searched the names that I wanted because I knew I always wanted to have a YouTube channel. So I searched if the name existed on YouTube, so if I was to call myself that, I would be the first person that came up, basically. And also, I just like the letter Z and like X and like V, like these obnoxious, unused letters. So, Zyga just came about that way. Indian takeout or Chinese? I'm not gonna lie, I don't really go for Indian, so probably Chinese. What do you think of communism? I don't know, what do I think of communism? Bruh, do you even realise me commenting on your YouTube videos? Bruh, I do. Are you reading this question while drinking milk? Yes, sir. How old are you? I am 18, but people seem to think that I'm a 12 year old boy, so... I don't know. <laughs> Should I buy Surface Pro i5 or something else? Um, I can't really tell, it's up to you. I've got a Surface Pro, I absolutely love it, so... It's a good laptop, I think. Uh, well, I know it's a good laptop, but it's up to you. Do your research, make sure you get what you want. Make sure to like research what you're looking for and stuff. Would you drink gone off milk or gone off orange juice? Pick your poison. This is terrible because like, I am milk gang, but I'm just gonna say, gone off milk is absolutely disgusting. It forms like chunks. It, it basically looks like another living species. So probably gone off orange juice, I know it'd still be disgusting, but like at least it wouldn't be as chunky. Do you like anime? Yes, I actually do love anime, so. Are you from Poland? Tell us your story, how you ended up living in the UK. Uh, yes, I am from Poland, and it's a pretty boring story. My mother got a job in England, so she moved to England for her job, while me, my sister, and my dad stayed in Poland. And then she earned enough money, so we moved with her because she had a permanent job. My dad found a job, and yeah, I was just living with my parents here ever since. What was your very first game? The game I created, X, like the knots and crosses thing. The one I played, I don't even remember. I played some like, you know, weird online games with my sister, like all those old Flash games called like Bomb It and stuff like that. Those are pretty fun days. How do you edit your videos and what do you use? Um, every video is different, so there is no specific like kind of, uh, what do you call it? There is no specific like theme or way I do it, but I use Premiere Pro. Does Joe snore? Yes, Joe does snore. For those who don't know who Joe is, he's my boyfriend. And yes, he does snore. He's got like a deviated septum or something. So yes, he does snore a lot. Have you made a mobile game? Uh, I'm working on one at the moment, if that counts. Goat's milk or cow's milk? Cow's milk, I don't really drink goat's milk. I've tried a couple times, but I don't really like it. So goat, look, cows, sorry. Did you draw this picture for this? Discord server. No, I didn't. It was made by King Milk, which is also my profile picture. Links to him will be in the description below. Really awesome artist. I think it's in your best interest to confess. Where did you hide the bodies? Hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe I should go. Okay guys, final question. Sorry, I can't fit all of them in. Can you mix orange juice and milk and drink it on stream to finally end this war? Oh my god, this is gonna be disgusting because like Fine. I have my weapons of war. Got a glass, there's some milk in it as you can see. Okay. 
I've got some milk here if I want to add some. But I also don't really have orange juice in my house, but I do have this orange and mango and it won't even focus. But yeah, I've got this orange and mango drink. So I'll put that in because it's basically orange. It's disgusting. Hannah, get me a bucket. Just get me like a bowl or a bucket. Oh, this one stinks. This has like gone off. Oh. Wait, I think this might be actually gone off. Oh, no. It's disgusting. Like, I'm not kidding. This milk is nice. This is like gone off. I'm not kidding. This is like the only like orange juice thing I had in my house. And I think it's gone off. Hannah, you've got to smell the inside of this. I think it's gone off. I'm not even kidding. You can like, smell it from here. It's like gone off. Okay, so I'm drinking milk and gone off orange juice, okay? Let me have a close up of this. <laughs> it's like all gone to the bottom as well, okay? Is it a bowl? Oh my god. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't freaking want to do this. Why am I drinking milk with orange juice? Oh, smell that. Just smell it. No, smell it. Smell it. Just smell it. <laughs> okay, right. ready? Cheers for 10k. Oh my god. Oh, my hair's got in it. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. I can taste the milk, but I can also taste like little chunks of orange juice or something. I don't even know what it is. Should I take another one? Ooh. Hannah, get me a water bottle quick. Get me There's some. For the flowers, if you use that. Thank you for 10k subscribers, and thank you so much for making me ruin my hair because it's gone into it. My taste buds will be ruined for the rest of the day. Thank you for 10k and bye. I love you guys.